<laughs> when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb at the rising of the sun. And they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a long white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. And they went out and quickly fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, giving an undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And to those in the tombs he bestoweth life. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let them that aid him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melteth before the fire. And to those in the tombs he bestows So let sinners perish in the presence of God, and let the righteous be glad. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. To those in the tomb, he be with life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. In peace. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the 
salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good state of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Alexander, the very priest of the act in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For Her Majesty, the Queen, the Prime Minister of Canada, and all civil authorities for armed forces, in peace, for the pursuit of peace everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter therein. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty and war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty and war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Christ is risen. Really is risen. Christ is risen. Send from the dead, trampling down the tiger.